In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to animate subtitles using markers and paragraph text in After Effects. This is a super cool trick that you can incorporate into all of your social media videos. Bring this project file into any project you're working on, and you'll be making subtitles in seconds. Literally. Check out ways to support this channel in the description below, but more importantly, stick around to learn this awesome method for creating subtitles, along with some very useful tips, tricks, and shortcuts that you can use every day in your motion graphics. Okay, there's a lot to get through, so let's dive right in. Okay, so I've got some audio that we used in the intro to this video. I'm just gonna drag that comp into this new comp icon here and we're gonna bring it in so that way it's wall-to-wall -wall audio. If you hit LL, you can see that's our waveform. Command K brings up your composition settings. I'm gonna do this like a social media video, something that's uh, nine by 16. We're gonna go 30 frames per second and this duration is just based on the length of this audio. Let's click OK. Command or Control T, bring up your text tool. It's gonna to create a text layer there. Now I have some specific audio that I've already created for this tutorial. So I'm just gonna copy and paste that right into this. Function Command, Option left arrow, it will center your anchor point to your layer. Function Command left arrow centers that to your comp. Now I recommend whenever you do this to choose the font and the size that you'll be using for your subtitles, just because it's visually easier. At every line break, we're gonna have the text pop up. So if you only want a few words at a time, then you may wanna increase this or just do your line breaks differently. This text right here though is just our reference text for the expression. Right click on this layer and let's make this a guide layer. Whenever you export this out as an MP4 or whatever format you use, it will not show this layer. Let's create another text layer, so Command or Control T, and it doesn't really matter what you write because it will be using the paragraph above it as reference. So I'm just gonna type Jeff for now. Let's open up this text layer and open up our text dropdown right here. We're gonna be placing code on this source text. Now you can get this code from the project file on my Patreon channel. Option or alt click on source text and just I'm gonna paste that in. Okay, and we're getting an error because this is going to require some markers. If we take a quick look at this, we can see the first thing is it's using this comp index minus one. So that means it's gonna be using the layer above it. Make sure that this guide layer is first and then this text layer here is next. As you start to add in markers by just pressing the asterisk, you'll see now that our error goes away and we can see this matches the first line up there. Go a little bit further. And as we continue to add markers, you can see it's actually toggling through all of this text here. We can just go ahead and add in 11 markers total. And again, I'm just hitting the asterisk button on my number pad. If you don't have a number pad, you can also go up to layer, markers, add a new marker. Let's go over to our effects and presets, type lock space A for lock anchor. And we just double click that and it will default to middle center. So now I always do this whenever I do subtitles, that way my subtitles don't meander around the screen. By doing it this way, it will always stay in the same place. Hit P for position, just right click and separate those dimensions. And this is 1080 by 1920. So let's put an expression on our X position. So option or alt click on X position, value comma open bracket, 540 and make sure it has that closed bracket there. So that's going to lock this on the exposition to the middle of our comp. So no matter what we do, we can't move it anymore. Add in an expression control. So expression controls, slider control. Let's make this value 1615. And then just pick whip that slider control. And now we can move this around from this layer here and don't have to open up any of this here. Rename this to Y position. We hit LL, open up our waveforms. We just need to line up our markers with the text. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you. So show is gonna be this marker here. And actually, you know, it may be easier to go from the end since I already have these laid out. So I know this marker here is literally. Literally. And you'll be making subtitles. And see, we can see right here from our paragraph text where the next line cut is. So subtitles in seconds. Okay, and I'm just gonna line this up really quick. Did you know that nearly 90% of you who learn from my content on a regular basis haven't yet subscribed to my channel? So can I ask you a favor? If you enjoy my content and you find it useful and you want to support this channel, the free simple way to do that is by hitting the subscribe button. I sell templates, project files, animation presets, courses, and much more on my Patreon. But my tutorials have always been and always will be absolutely free. In return, I'll make a commitment to make this channel better than any other motion graphic tutorial channel out there. I'll listen to your feedback back and make the tutorials that you want to see. And as always, I'll present the most useful information to help you become the motion graphic designer you want to be. Thank you so much for watching.
Okay, so now if we watch this playback, we want to just focus on this area down here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to animate subtitles using markers and paragraph text in After Effects. This is a super cool trick that you can incorporate into all of your social media videos. Bring this project file into any project you're working on, and you'll be making subtitles in seconds. Now, as you notice, I didn't do a lot of very good breaks here, but I did it for a reason. I want to show you what you can do with this and how quickly you can do it. So say I want this bring to be on its own line. If we go up to our reference text and let's just make a line break at bring. Now this is going to break there. Kind of shape this in a way that you know that you want your text to animate on. So let's say bring this project file into any project you're working on and you'll be making subtitles in seconds. So say, let's go with something like that. So here is, bring this. here is bring, so let's go back down. Bring starts right here where we just move this marker to. And I ran out of marker, so all you have to do when we get to this last part is just add one more marker. And make sure that you're adding the markers to your subtitles layer. I'm gonna go ahead and rename some of this. So let's name this layer subtitles, and we'll name this layer up here reference text. And I'm going to name this project, actually, we'll say subtitle project. There we go. I'm going to bring this image into our project file here and just kind of do some quick resizing. If you do shift command alt G, it will snap your image to the layer's height. This reference text, we can actually hide this for now. This is only there if you want to add more text or if you want it to break in different places. A lot of social media subtitles also have boxes around them. I'm using FX Console. It's a free preset from Video Copilot. I'm gonna put a link in the description below for that. It's so much quicker than trying to navigate through all of your effects to find the right effect. So I'm just gonna pull that up. I'm gonna type in simple for simple choker. And we also need Minimax. And the last one we need is Tint. So I'm gonna close up these other effects we have on this layer here. Now under simple choker, let's just change our view from final output to matte from Minimax. Under channel, change that to alpha. Now you can already see our box is formed. You can use this radius to increase that. Scrub through here, you can see that the box is staying around your text at all times. Now for tent, the first color is going to be your box, second is your text. So just play around with these colors until you get something that you like that works. If you already have another project that you're working on, go to File, Import, Import File, and bring this file in, and all this stuff is already set up for you. Now, one of the things I'm also going to include in this project file is a safe area layover. So if you put this on top, you can see this is your safe area. Let's hide this guy back there. Maybe turn for our reference text. So you can see that your text needs to stay within this. Avoid text here and avoid text here. So if we click on our subtitles, remember we have our Y position. You can move this anywhere in here and you should be good. One of the things you also wanna do is just right click on this safe area zone, and make that a guide layer. So again, whenever you render this video out, it won't show the safe area and it won't show your reference text. I hope this helped you out. Let me know in the comments below if this kind of tutorial is something that you're looking for. And I would love to see examples of how this project file is being used in your social media videos. Thanks for watching everybody, and I'll see you next time. I just wanna take a minute to tell you about some of the templates I've been creating to make your life a lot easier. Create lower thirds in the blink of an eye with my Luminatrix Lower Thirds templates, powered by Essential Graphics, so you can use these templates in both After Effects and Premiere. You also wanna check out my Text Animator Toolkit. It's also powered by Essential Graphics, so you can easily animate text in both After Effects and Premiere. Check out the link in the description below for access to presets for virtually everything you could possibly want or need. Text to shape layers, snow effects, text boxes, text animators, shape layer accents like burst and animated circles, and so much more. Check out courses, templates, project files, and ways to get personalized coaching from my new School of AE.